Welcome to day 29 of our focus prayers on unity, healing, and hope, and day nine of the focus on hope, hope. Our focus text this morning will come from Romans 8, 24 through 25. In the NASB, that reads, For in hope we have been saved, but hope that is seen is not hope. For who hopes for what he already sees? But if we hope for what we do not see, through perseverance we wait eagerly for it. Faith is a strong belief in tr or trust in someone or something, while hope is the belief that something is possible, but not yet certain to happen. G.K. Chesterton said, hope means hoping when things are hopeless or it is of no benefit at all. As long as matters are really hopeful, hope is mere flattery or cliche. It is only when everything seems hopeless that hope begins to be a strength. Some people fail to realize how discouragement and frustration are related to a faulty sense of hope. A person who hopes in God cannot be overwhelmed by hurt from people because they are not looking to people as their source of satisfaction. In God and him alone, we hope. The Lord never leaves us, forsakes us, and he will never fail us. Paul teaches in Romans 8, 24 and 25, how to overcome feelings of fatigue and sadness or hopelessness. There he writes, for in hope we have been saved. But hope that is seen is not hope. For who hopes for what he already sees? But if we hope for what we do not see through perseverance, we will wait eagerly for it. No doubt Paul thought of what David wrote in Psalm 42, 11. When he was tried and troubled, David said, Why are you downcast, O my soul? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Savior and my God. When our hope is totally in the Lord, we are not disturbed when things don't go our way. God is our rock and constant spring of living water, supplying us with everything we need. Paul and David abounded in hope despite their many trials, attacks, and troubles. These men were not like some of us today who quickly give in to discouragement when faced with adversity. Hope is built upon a confident faith that the Lord, through the Holy Spirit, will help us look expectantly towards better things to come. Hope visualizes all the good things that are available to us because of our trust in God and our faith in Christ. Hope in God helps us to base our expectations on the nature and character of God instead of on our circumstances or feelings. We must ask God to help us increase the quality and quantity of our hope as we praise him for all his wondrous works. My advice is that you study God's word and make, it a, and make a list of God's characteristics with the associated scriptural references so that uh, you can regularly use those uh, for your morning uh, or daily devotion. The better you know God, the more you will praise him and trust him. First Peter 1 and 3 says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. According to his great mercy, he has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the res resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Because of Christ's resurrection, we can sing my hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. All other ground is sinking sand. In our focus text, Paul remembered that our roots of faith reach an endless reservoir of Jesus' grace, love, and hope. When we are consistently feeding from Christ's living water, we are not overcome by dry spells. David wrote in Psalms 1 and 3, 
He is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever he does, prospers. People who hope in God have the confident belief that regardless of what happens, he will supply us with all the emotional, mental, and spiritual blessings that we need. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you because you are our Father and our hope, and we trust in your sacred promises. We thank you for your faithfulness, for your blessings, for your loving kindness. You are our sovereign Lord, and we humble ourselves before your mighty throne. We thank you, Lord, for always hearing and answering your servants' prayers, especially in the past 29 days. In times of darkness and uncertainty, help us to place our hope in you and you alone. May we never forget that you are the source of all hope and our light in times of darkness. Fill our hearts with hope, Lord, and Help us to trust in your plans and your purposes, even when we cannot see the way. Renew our faith, O God, and grant us the strength to persevere through the trials of life. God, you know the issues of our hearts, even those that we barely dare to hope for. Today, we lift our issues to you. We trust them to you because we know that, as it says in your word, that you are able to do immeasurably more than all we can ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work in us. God, you are our hope, and we trust in you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. My challenge to you all uh, today is please live today on purpose and encourage someone with the hope of Christ that lives within us all. God bless and have a great day.